Hi, I'm Johnny Engineer Termel, and I'm running in my 75th Guinness Record election for Prime Minister of Canada. Now, most people think that the guy who's Prime Minister has to have most members with the most seats, but it can also be the guy with the most brains. And given the catastrophe that happened in Japan, which is a lot more dangerous than they're telling you, and which will probably kill you unless someone who knows what to do about it gets in. Uh, this is not something that calls for a lawyer leading us. This is something that calls for an engineer. So now let's go into why, if you don't vote for me in this election, and if I don't get in, probably you're going to die, and you're going to deserve to die. Okay, I'm going to talk about how building everything on the cheap because of the mortgage death gamble that the banking system forces us to undergo, always to the lowest bidder, is going to end up killing a lot of us. Why the nuclear radioactive catastrophe is a lot worse than they're telling us. This book, Deadly Deceit, ISBN 0941423565. By J.M. Gould and Benjamin A. Goldman did something interesting. They went and they got the statistics for deaths around nuclear reactors. Deaths downwind of Chernobyl. The deaths downwind of Three Mile Island and Savannah River. Uh, so after these catastrophes, we were always told, oh yeah, but it was low-level radiation. Not that serious. And of course, the name of the book is Low-Level Radiation, High-Level Cover-Up. So, what the book shows is that low-level radiation is extremely dangerous in a different way than high-level x-rays and the things that are burning people to a crisp right near the reactors. There's a difference between a radioactive particle a meter away and a centimeter away or inside you. So, low-level radiation has caused many, many deaths. And when the government found out that, hey, with these statistics, he's proven that all of these nuclear reactors have higher death rates, we must do something. So they stopped publishing the death statistics. And now we can't prove to you anymore that the radioactivity low level is still killing you. Well, now I'm going to explain to you why. First of all, we're going to take a quick look at the John Stewart show where he was talking about radioactivity and had an expert on. Let's take a listen. Let's begin with, I don't know, Nancy Grace. Now Nancy Grace has taken her place atop the ramparts to protect America's shores from the atomic menace. Straight out to Bernie Reno, senior meteorologist, AccuWeather.com. Bernie, explain how this is going to affect us. Well, in the United States, I don't think there's going to be a big impact at all. Um, you know, I think the, the radiation is, Bernie. oh boy, here we go, Nancy, huh? There's a state You're not, of emergency Nancy, this is not, declared in this California. Is not damage, this is not damaging radiation in the United States. Okay, so the expert is telling the lady that radiation is not damaging. We're too far away. It's too low-level radiation. Well, first of all, let's understand that radiation and what he shows in his book deadly deceit is that the big lie of nuclear radiation is that they presume that the damage is linear that means if you got a radioactive particle a meter away if it moves into one centimeter away a hundredth of a distance now instead of a meter it's a hundred times more deadly it's not it's the square it's uh, ten thousand times more deadly a hundred squared. So, they say it's linear, and they talk about the linear danger when it's actually an exponential danger. Now, when it gets inside you, that one radioactive particle, well now, it's only one micron away, a millionth of a meter, and that's not a million times more damage, it's a million squared. A million times a million times more damage that one little particle can do. So now, what kind of damage do these nuclear particles do inside us? Well, each cell has your DNA code. It's 300 meg of information of data. And the radioactive heat can burn out certain segments of the code. 
Now, most segments of the coat, it burns out. Big deal. It replicates, and now you're not going to have so much red hair. It doesn't matter, you know. But what happens if it burned out a section of the coat that has the stop switch on the growth of the cell? Well, now with no stop switch, this cell isn't going to die like it's normally supposed to. And then it replicates and makes another cell without a stop switch. And then 4 and 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, 512, and 1,000 in 10 doubles. And a million times more in 20 doubles. And a billion times more in 30 doubles. And that's how exponential works. So, now obviously... I have a lot of Chernobyl radioactivity in me. I was there when the Chernobyl went, went off, and that was pretty bad. So, But I haven't gotten any cancers or stuff that have grown because I do certain things to kill cancer at the cellular level. Before it gets big enough, you need radiation and operations and chemotherapy. If you can kill it at the small level with using natural herbs and medicines, different story. That's probably why I haven't been affected as most of my generation have been by that kind of radioaction, radioactivity all around us. So, now, here's some headlines just recently. Fukushima probably exceeds Chernobyl, and there's no end in sight. And the other one is, harmless, Chernobyl's radiation killed nearly one million people. And, of course, this is going to do more. And we're downwind. Keep that in mind. Now, it says, now it seems the Onagawa nuclear plant may have melted down, too. Oh, no, two of them. Fukushima, a Fukushima radiation found in Massachusetts rainwater. Okay, neato, eh? Rainwater across U.S. contaminated with Japan nuclear radiation. Oh, but it's low level. Don't worry about it. Just one in a billion little particles out there. Mostly air you're going to breathe. Not too many will get inside. And, of course, our government needs to be honest about radiation getting into the California food supply. Well, all our food supplies, because that's what happens. The radiation falls on the grass. The cows eat the grass. The goes along in the milk, the babies who are most susceptible have the milk, and they all die and they get birth defects and miscarriages and stuff. So you watch in the next year how many miscarriages and birth defects we're going to get because of this radiation now that they're telling you not to worry about. On U.S. stores spent nuclear fuel rods at four times the pool capacity. Anyway, they got enough nuclear poison in the, in the United States to poison themselves ten times over. So let's hope it doesn't happen. Now, the danger, of course, is the exponential, and we are right in the downwind path. It's a state of emergency uh, in California, from what I remember from last week, was yeah, from the damage from the tsunami. Yeah, that's what the Japanese government said, too. Don't worry. <laughs> Everything's fine. Um, yeah. <laughs> Smart guy who studied it. <laughs> there is Japan. There is North America. And when it turns, when the gases go up, six hours later, North America is right underneath them. You get it? We are first to be hit by all the strongest radiation particles as they get up and come down. And this guy on TV says, oh, it's low level, no danger, not damaging. Well, I explained how the problem isn't from, you know, a little bit of radioactivity like an X-ray over there kept away. The danger is when it gets inside you and it gets down to the micron levels when it's a trillion times, 10 to 12 zeros more powerful at burning out your DNA and maybe hitting a kill switch. So that is the difficulty we've got. So it's kind of interesting that we would be facing this kind of dilemma just when they call a Canadian election. Now, of course, Stephen Harper, the liberals, they're all in favor of prosecuting the wars in the Middle East. They want to buy 30,000 million, 30 billion dollars worth of new warplanes so we can go make war in the state, in the, in the Middle East, like the United States are. 30,000 million is enough to build housing for all Canadians in the country. And the liberals and the Tories and the others are all going to spend it on warplanes to go and do war in the Middle East. Now, what are we doing out there? What'd they ever do to us? Well, that's another story, but the point is, that means that there's not going to be enough money for health care. And when the radiation, cancers, and the things start to hit the poor people, ah, oh, the horror, it's going to be really pretty messy, I think.
There are things we can do about it, and I'll talk about that at the very end. But right now, it's why would the government lie to us? Well, I'm going to go back now to the John uh, Stewart bit. Okay, I'm not going to go back now to the John Stewart show and finish that, and then we're going to finish off. The, and we'll, I'm going to go back to the John Stewart show now and finish it off. But watch how the former prosecutor refuses to take science for an answer. You, you know, how matter how you slice this, this is not headed toward the United States as far as the damage is radiation. It doesn't just magically appear. It's got to get here, and the, um, and the large amounts aren't. He's only giving you the science.